Today we're going to cover Ansible. Now Ansible is one of my favorite tools for automation, but it does have some issues and a bit of a learning curve when it comes to newbies. So here's an example. If I go with the Ansible all, as in terms of hosts, and the ping command, I'm going to get a warning message telling me that my hosts can't be found. And you're probably thinking, well, why is that? I have a host file, why doesn't it detect it? The answer is because it also has a default host file, which is stored under the Exet and Sybil folder. Now, I would keep that around because it's a very useful and good reference material when you need to configure your own host file. But in this particular instance, I already have my own host file that I want to use for my server addressing. So in order to use that, I'm going to have to use the dash i command and then the name of the file which I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and try the same again, but this time specifying the file that I want to use for my hosts. Now you can see we now get a second error message. Now this one tells me that I don't have my SSH key set up, so I'm getting an authentication message since I haven't provided any login details. So I could provide my login, but I happen to know that my login is the same as my current machine. So the only thing that I need to provide is a password. And to do that, I do a dash K command. Dash K and I get a response. Now, since those are the most common issues new beginners are likely to encounter with Ansible, I figured it was good to cover them here. Your experiences may vary as you may have already your SSH keys set up or alternatively um, already familiar with the dash I. Now, why you would use a separate host file if you've already got one? Most people tend to ask that question and the answer is rather simple. If you're sharing projects between different DevOps guys, you're going to need a separate uh, host file for each one rather than always overwriting your local one. Hopefully you liked this video and if you did give us a big thumbs up. Remember that all the codes and packages used in this video will be in the comments below it.